have in Jesus All our sins and griefs to bear What a privilege to carry Everything to God in prayer Praise the name of the Lord. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and warmly welcome you to the service on this Sunday, 16th of May, 2021. We thank God for granting us yet another Sunday. He is faithful. I welcome all members of ACK St. Barnabas Utiende, wherever you are, and your families or our viewers and reasoners all over the world. We continue to celebrate the reopening of churches, and we continue to minister to you through online and also uh, through physical churches. And we warmly welcome you for all our services, both at 9 and 11, and even the Sunday school and the Facebook. We thank God that uh, this far, he has remained Ebenezer, and we know that he is taking us far. Today, Sunday the 16th, our preacher is uh, Mrs. Uh, Florence Mutungu. Says Florence Mutungu is the treasurer of the Mother's Union in this church, SEK St. Barnabas Utiende. She's also a member of the PCC, and she is also in training for re leadership. We trust and we hope that uh, the commissioning or the enrollment or the right sensing will, be, uh, will happen this year, hoping there will be no any other lockdown that would curtail the training that they have been undergoing. Mrs. Uh, Florence Mutungu is married to Dr. Dixon Mutungu and they, they are blessed with sons. So when I have said a prayer, I'll have an opportunity to welcome the praise and worship team. Then after, we will have the Bible reading done to us by Lawrence. And then after, Mrs. Florence Mutungu will bring the word of God. Let us pray. Oh Lord, our Father, we thank you for yet another Sunday, Sunday, the 16th of May, 2021. We thank you for who you are in our lives. We thank you because you continue to be our Ebenezer. This far you have brought us. And now we present ourselves before you in this service that you'll minister to us through your servant, through the reading of your word, through the praise and worship team, the intercessory, and even offering our gifts for the work of the kingdom. Father, we pray that all those sacrifices will be acceptable before you. Be with us in this service, Lord. May your presence prevail. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I now want to welcome the praise and worship team to minister to us and with us.
Tukuza bwana maisha ni mwangu ninapotembea nikiwa mzima nasema asante asante mukuzi ninayo sababu kwa sababu ya kumtukuza bwana maisha ni mwangu ninapoamka nikiwa mzima nasema asante asante kwa baba ninayo sababu kwa sababu ya kumtukuza bwana Imbia bwana jamani una sababu ya kusema asante asubuhi ya leo haijalishi umepitia mangapi haijalishi unaona nini una sababu ya kusema asante asubuhi ya leo just want to declare that there is no god there is no any other god hakuna jambo ambalo tunaweza fanya bila yesu thank you jesus asante bwana asante jesus unasaidi kuinuliwa bwana unasaidi kutukuka asubuhi ya leo shina lako ni kuu zaidi ya machina yote benesa kuna kama wewe inuliwa bwana abutiwe
Lord, indeed, we are nothing without you. This morning, we are declaring, King of all the glory, that, Lord, may you come and reign upon us. May you come and give us strength. May you come and help us to come across our challenges and to be winners in the name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we want to thank you this morning. We want to bless you. We want to lift you on high. We want to glorify you, King of all the glory. We enthrone you, Jehovah. We magnify you, for there is none like you, Jesus. May you come and be part and parcel of us in each and everything that we do, Lord. How we invite you, Jehovah, that may you walk together with us, for we are weak without you. We cannot make it without you, King of all the glory. Come and heal us spiritually. Come and heal us physically in the name of our Lord Jesus. We give ourselves unto thee and we humble, O oh Lord, that may you lift us up. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Our reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 44 to 48. And it says, while Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who had the message. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. Then, then Peter said, Can anyone keep these people from being baptized with water? They received the Holy Spirit just as we have. So he, ho he ordered that they be baptized in the, same, in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked Peter to stay with them for a few days. And this is the word of God. Praise God, church. Good morning. My name is Florence Mtungu as I have been introduced by Canon John Mongangi, and I love the Lord as my personal savior. I thank Canon John Mongangi for giving me this opportunity to bring the word of God to the people of this church. Let's pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you this morning, thanking you for bringing us here today we know it is not by our own strength, but it has costed your mighty hand for us to be here today. We pray that you be with us from the beginning of this word. May you guide us. And Father, I pray that you use me as a vessel that I may deliver this message to your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. 
the desire to know God and to walk with him is the greatest wisdom anyone could ever ask for. In the early verses of Acts chapter 10, we see that both Cornelius and Peter had visions. In his vision, Cornelius, a Roman centurion, saw a Roman centurion and a devout Gentile. An angel appeared to him and told him to send for Peter. And on the other hand, Peter, in his vision, he saw animals, unclean animals, according to Jews' law, and received an order from God to kill them and eat them. Just as Peter was trying to understand the meaning of, the, of his troublesome vision, the men sent by Cornelius arrived. In verse 19 of Acts 10, the spirit said to Peter, Behold, three men seek you, so get up and go down with them. Do not hesitate to go with them, for I have sent you. This was actually God speaking to Peter, telling him not to hesitate, but actually to follow God's order. Praise God. In these verses, we see that there is obedience by both parties. That is Peter and Cornelius. They both obeyed what God told them to do. There was no hesitation at all, despite their, difference, their differences in their beliefs. They both obeyed God. Now in verse 44 to 48, these verses are a reminiscent of God's power they are reminiscent of God's they are reminiscent of the power of God's spirit displayed on the day of Pentecost when the gospel of Christ was preached and the Holy Spirit broke in their midst and enabled them to speak in foreign tongues and dialects. Although the Jewish Christians were stunned by the display of the Holy Spirit's power in the lives of the Gentiles. For Peter, it was a small step to order these Gentiles to be baptized. It was as if Peter was saying, these people have already been baptized with the Spirit, with the Holy Spirit. Is there anything that we can do except to affirm and testify to God's action by baptizing them with water. There is a song that says, when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. And indeed, God had intended for the Gentiles, that is me and you, to be his followers. Praise God. Peter meant to say, God has approved gen the Gentiles to be beneficiaries of Christ's work of salvation alongside with the Jews. Who are we to stop that or to question the works of the Almighty God? If God says so and so, you will, be, you will become my servant. No matter how much you fight the spirit, no matter how much you run away from it, God's word must come to pass. Praise God. So Peter realized the spirit of God is so strong for any mankind to fight with it. So he obliged to God's orders. So Peter ordered that they be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. In the New Testament, baptism of God's spirit and the, 
and the symbolic baptism of water refers to our union and identification with Christ. In Mark 16, verse 16, it reads, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Jesus is saying that merely agreeing with him intellectually is not enough. There must be a union with him, a real transformation for that matter. His love and compassion must penetrate our innermost being we must be pickled with the essence of Christ. The confirmation of our faith through baptism produces a permanent change in us. We become new beings through our walk, through our talk, and even through our action. Every, everything becomes new in us, praise God. For those who are in union with Christ today are witnesses of Christ's transform, transforming love in the lives of many people. Verse 46, it says, for they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. Speaking in tongues by Gentiles meant so many things. Number one, it confirms the Jewish believers, it, conf it confirms to the Jewish believers that God has blessed these Gentiles with his spirit. Another thing is, it is God's way of welcoming Gentiles into the family of Christ. Point number three, it is a demonstration of God's perfect plan of salvation for all mankind. Point number four, it is a reminder to us that when God's spirit is at work, in the lives of new believers, we need to open our minds and hearts to God's revelation. Point number five, it is a reminder that God's plan of salvation reaches far beyond our comprehension and sometimes even our comfort zones. The last point, and above all, it was God's plan to bring glory to himself. Praise God. And on this note, I would like to take us back a little in verse 25 of the same chapter 10, which says, as Peter entered the house, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet in reverence. But Peter made him get up. Stand up, he said, I am only a man myself. Peter did not elevate himself to God's level, but rather he made Cornelius understand that he was only a man, just like Cornelius. A man who did not deserve anyone's bowing. What if Peter decided to take all glory for himself? What would have happened? I guess everything would have ended there. Praise God. But Peter understood his role and purpose. He was only a servant of God sent to Cornelius by God. Let's note this, eh? let's be very careful 
in matters of glory. We should not allow ourselves to be glorified by anyone in whatever reason. Let's give back all the glory and honor to God alone, for he deserves it. We are only but servants of God. After Cornelius and his family had been baptized, they asked Peter to stay with them for a few days. Initially, Peter would have not accepted such kind of hospitality, especially from Gentiles. But because God had previously warned him not to call anything unclean that has been made clean by God. While verse 48 does not explicitly tell us that Peter accepts this invitation, it strongly implies it. Praise God. God had provided ample evidence to Peter through the vision and now the gift of the Holy Spirit to the Gentiles that God intended to open the church to the Gentiles. Just as there was no reason to withhold the water of baptism from Gentiles, there is no reason for Peter to decline Gentiles' hospitality. In conclusion, we see that Cornelius desired to know God and to work with God together with his family. My prayer today is that we may desire to work with God and not to work alone, but with our families. May we preach the word to our families. May we tell them about Jesus Christ and that he saves so that we may walk together with them. Praise God. Cornelius and Peter obeyed God. May God help us to be obedient of his laws and commands. Cornelius realized that the act of baptism is not the finish line. Rather, it's the beginning of a new dimension of living faithfully before God and fellow church members. May God help us to realize the same. It is my prayer that we too may be filled with the desire to continue to grow in our understanding of God's mysteries. In the name of God the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Florence, for the teaching of the word, reminding us that we have a duty and obligation to call even our family into the fellowship of God. Today, the 16th of May, 2021, is also the first Sunday after a session or the Sunday after a session, the correct for the day. Almighty Father, in our efforts to fulfill the great commission of the Lord, help us to remember that it is Jesus who equips and directs our mission focus for our own, we are helpless and foolish. Grant us the grace to depend on you in all our difficulties and to exercise humility in times of success that all glory, honor, and praise may belong to Jesus, our master and, and king. And this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Thank you. We now welcome our Vicar Canon Jane to say the intercessory prayers on our behalf. Thank you. Let us pray. Lord our Father, we thank you as we fellowship together this Sunday as believers that you have called 
in this church of ACK St. Barnabas Utiende and the church worldwide. We thank you for the preaching of your word. We thank you for granting us two personalities, Cornelius and Peter, and their response to your gospel. We thank you because of the act of baptism that we were given that uh, set us aside to belong to the household of believers. We pray, Jehovah Lord, that we will always walk according to the vows we made. We thank you for the opportunity also to interact with those that are not part of the body of believers. Help us to purpose to bring them to your kingdom. We thank you, Lord, even for the Holy Spirit. And we continue asking you that your Holy Spirit will always be our counselor. We can always hear your voice when you speak to us. We remember each and every member of this congregation of ACKs in Banambas Utiende, their families and all the viewers wherever they are, that you bless them. During this very difficult time of this pandemic, Lord, we are praying that you'll favor them, Jehovah Lord, you look upon them with mercy and meet us at our point of need. We remember those who have lost their livelihood. You are God the restorer. We pray, Jehovah Lord, that you'll restore them. Father, we remember many incidents that you, you did exploit. You did miracles to your people. There was a time people did not have food in the wilderness and you provided. There was a time they didn't have water. They didn't have the basic needs. Even uh, the shelter and you provided tents. And they lived for long and many years in the wilderness. And you used to satisfy them, Jehovah Lord, with all their needs. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we know, Lord, that you continue to do the same. Father, we know that there was a time people were hungry. And the disciples would not be able to afford to buy them food. But because you are God of miracles, whatever was provided, you multiplied, and it was able to feed more than 5,000 people. There is nothing that is impossible before you. And therefore, Lord, we pray that you raise us up. Those who are down in the valleys, Jehovah, Lord, we call upon your name, that you give us a financial breakthrough so that we can be able to stand on our own. We pray, Jehovah Lord, for those who have to begin new interventions of their lives, that, Lord, you'll honor their steps. This is because their companies were closed down, their employment, Jehovah Lord, came to an end. You never come to an end. And you are never closed down. You are always alive. You never even sleep or slumber. You are always awake. You are a mysterious God. Come to our aid during this time. Forgive us where, Lord, we have errand against you. We remember our young adults who are seeking for employment, Jehovah Lord. Father, we pray that you favor them. We thank you for those who have done class eight. And we pray as they join from one, Jehovah Lord, you give them another new life that is honored and directed by you. And even for those who have not performed very well, as was expected by the parents, the guardians, and even the government, we pray for them. That Jehovah Lord, you will brighten their future and you'll give them a destiny. We remember the form four who are still waiting for the results. That Jehovah, even in their waiting, they will wait upon you. And you'll also grant them a destiny. 
you are not a god of one stop. You are a god of a long life. And that is why we know and we believe that you take care of our children. We thank you for this new uh, term you have given our children, our new semester, continue to walk with them. Father, we pray, Jehovah Lord, even for our government, the readership. We ask the Lord that you give them wisdom to read according to your will. We also want to pray for all the churches and the readership of the churches that we will preach your gospel as you have directed us, Lord. Remembering our Anglican Church and the readership, not only in this republic, but all over the world. Father, we pray for your presence. And all other churches, Jehovah Lord, particularly during this very difficult time when there has been lockdown in churches, we pray, Jehovah Lord, that your ministers will remain afloat in your faith and we will learn to expect from you. But to your Lord, we pray also that you bless the members of our congregations with the resources and abilities so that they are able also to stand and support your church. We want to pray, Jehovah Lord, for the bereaved ones. We remember Janet and the whole family that has lost their father. We pray that strength and power will be upon them, Jehovah Lord. And they'll never lose hope. Or they'll never lose faith in you. Because you are the giver and you are the one who takes away our life. And we are only flowers. We blossom and wither. We are temporal in this world. But the most important thing is that uh, we will always remain connected with you. Father, we also want to pray for the sick. There are some who are sick in hospitals. We thank you for those that have been discharged. And we pray even for those who are still in hospital that you are with them. Because your power is not limited. You are the God of all seasons. You are able even to walk into ICU. And I know, Lord, that you are with Alvin in ICU. And you will tell him, take up your mat and walk. He is a young boy, like you healed many years ago. A teen who was 12 years, Lord, I pray that you visit Alvin in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue protecting them with the mother all the way in India. Father, we pray also for the many projects that we may do in this church, that you grant us your blessings so that we can be able to support your work. Replenish our pockets, Jehovah Lord, so that we can give generously for your kingdom. We remember all the fathers. We remember all the mothers. We remember all the ladies, the young women and the young men, all the teens, both boys and girls, and the Sunday school children, both boys and girls. Continue, Lord, anchoring them in your faith. And let us, Jehovah Lord, do your work of evangelism and following you without looking back, even in times of difficulties. We know there are people who may not be able to share what they are going through. Father, we pray that you meet them at their points of need. We remember all the professionals who are here in this church and who are watching us. Bless them, Jehovah Lord. We continue to pray for our police force that you watch over them as they give us security. We remember our teachers and our medical teams, Father, as they serve you with their skills and their abilities. Lord, I pray that favor will be upon, upon them. 
Father, we pray, Jehovah Lord, even for the other needs that we are not able to tell you. You know them even before we have mentioned. We ask, Jehovah Lord, that you will favor us. And we cry unto you, hear us, Jehovah Lord, because you are our Father. Remember the widows, the orphans. Because you are God of the orphans, you are God of the widows. Remember the husbands and the wives and the children. Come and save our marriages where there is domestic violence, where there is no love. Because you, you lived in a family of Mary and Joseph, you confirmed that a family is important. God, you created and undermined Eve, and you planted them in a garden as a con confirmation that you respect and you are the author of marriage. Help us, Lord, to do the same. We pray, Jehovah Lord, that you help us also to be good stewards of environment and to take care of that creation that you have created with your own hands. Father, we pray, Lord, that we will not live careless life, but we'll be careful with our lives, that we can have long life. Give us long life. We come against premature deaths in the mighty name of Jesus. And we come against all accidents, Jehovah Lord, diseases and illnesses. And Father, we pray that you revival us. Thank you for this day. Hear our prayers, Jehovah Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, it's now time to offer our resources for the work of the ministry. We have been telling you that we are not able to pay our bills. We continue to uh, request you to support us so that we are able to clear our bills. And I know that uh, the Lord will bless you. We remind ourselves of the woman of Zarephath Yet there was a lot of hunger. It had not rained for three years, but uh, he supported the man of God. He gave, or she gave what she had, and the Lord increased it uh, a hundredfold. So my prayer is that the Lord will help us to give even during this difficult time so that our bottle of oil will never run dry and even our jar of fra will never be empty. Our pay bills are 403-6261. Then it will ask you the account, you write your name. And then the second one is 247-247 from Equity. Then it will ask you the account, you write 326546. Or you can use our PINDIQ machines. You pass by office. They are always available. Or you can even uh, write a check, SEK, St. Barnabas Parish, or Tiende. Or you can do a bank deposit. The accounts are already on the screen. We have always been uh, advised by the ministry to remit cash because uh, cash uh, is not safe as we know that we are uh, we have the pandemic and they advise that it is not safe to use cash so please let us uh, minimize cash and use those avenues that the lord has around us to have for the giving of uh, his vineyard it's now time to give may the lord bless you as you give things come from you, O oh Lord. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
We thank you for the privilege of worshiping you with our resources. We present them to you as tithes, as offerings, as free will offerings, thanksgiving, donations, and we pray that you sanctify them as they are going to be used for the extension of your kingdom in this church and beyond. And bless our pockets and replenish our storehouses. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So just to remind ourselves that uh, next Sunday, the services are still uh, as usual. 9 o'clock online. 8.30 Sunday School online. 11 o'clock physical. 9 o'clock uh, physical. And then we have, uh, you can also follow us on Facebook. So we have Facebook. We have Sunday School at 8.30. We have online at 9. We have physical church at 9 and physical church at 11. Our next Sunday is 23rd, and we want to warmly welcome you to join us in any of those services or all the services that we have mentioned and that are related to this church. We want also to remind ourselves to keep, uh, uh, to keep safe uh, the fact that uh, we have been told the fact that the country was opened and the lockdown was uh, uh, removed doesn't mean that the disease has gone. The disease, we are told, is still with us. So take care of yourself and take care of others. We continue to remind you that uh, we ask you, you can continue even giving after the service because we have those avenues of giving to be able to support the church and to be able to help us to pay the bills. I want to take this opportunity once again to thank Mrs. Florence Mutungu for sharing the word of God uh, and bringing the, ma the message of Christ with clarity and with power to thank Reverend Ruka, thank Mary and Thomas, to thank Lawrence for participating in reading the word of God and Wayne for his support, and to thank all of you, St. Barnabas Utiende and your families, our viewers, our listeners, and even our friends all over the world. We want to wish you God's blessings as you begin a new week as you do your activities day to day, every minute to every minute. Ours is to pray for you, and you continue also praying for us. Janet uh, lost uh, their father, and the father was buried uh, yesterday. And we continue to pray for them. As we continue to pray for Caroline and the son Alvin in India, trusting God for the healing of Alvin. So I'll ask you to stand. And we meet next Sunday, 23rd. And you, kept, you can open your arms as I bless you. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you, members of ACK St. Barnabas Otiende, and your loved ones. Be with you, all the viewers and listeners, and our friends all over the world. Be with you the coming week. Be with you as you work from home or, or even from office. Be with you as you do your business. Be with you this weekend, this Sunday, this morning, this day. Be with you now and even forevermore. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. God bless you. See you on Sunday, as I have indicated in those various services, or you can also follow us on Facebook. <laughs>